Uh, I think when I left, we were 6.8 million um, a year. So wow. we're big. Yeah, 13,000 square feet, 550 seats, 270 employees. It was a, it was a beast. That's huge. Yeah. And that we're so talking about rock bottom. We're right talking now. about rock bottom. Yeah. yeah. So, so we went from that to eight person you know, staff here doing a couple hundred grand a year. Big, and here's the difference. thing that we always said when we were looking at numbers at rock bottom was that um, volume hides everything. What do so you mean by that? What I mean is that you can't see the little bits and pieces that are missing that fall off that um, aren't working right when you have all this volume telling you that you're hitting your percentages and everything's great. Right. Yep. There's all these little ways that it could be better, little tweaks that should be happening, um, small wares that are disappearing. But you write it off because, you know, you get the cash flow. We have the cash flow. And as far as numbers go across the country, you still look good. Yeah. Now you take that and you drill down to a day to day, hour to hour. Now tell me what it looks like, because that's what's running a small business is like. Yep. It's a whole different game. Mm. So then you're talking about, um, and <laughs> actually, the chef at Rock Bottom, um, Alberto, is the one who really taught me this lesson. He because he also had the best food costs in the entire what was country. His name? Alberto. Alberto. Okay. And so we had um, close to 200 restaurants in the corporation at the time. Um, this is before Gordon Beersh bought them, and at that time, Alberto ran the best numbers in the whole country. And he would say to me, "Mija, why are you throwing away the end of that carrot?" Because that's at the end of the carrot. <laughs> and he was like, no, that's for soup stock. Yeah. I'm like, you know, I just learned so many lessons. Everything can be used, and right? That literally. He's like, everything has a purpose. There is yep. no waste in this kitchen. Awesome. And uh, so that was like a, that was a big lesson I coming from the front of the house.